ABC5 first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. So yesterday felt like full on winter and today <sighs> it feels like we're back to scheduled programming. Yeah, I know it's kind of like weirdly mild out there. I don't know if yeah. you really want to call it mild, but there's not it's a lot of warm sun. considering what we felt yesterday. Right, it's in the 40s today, but get don't put that winter gear too far away cuz no. this weekend we've got the 30s coming back below average temperatures, but for now We'll enjoy the slightly milder temperatures, but we don't have a lot of sunshine to enjoy along with it. You can see storm track are just flooded with clouds here. We don't have a lot of precip on radar though, but there are a couple of showers out there, particularly in the Champlain Valley. Just see that shower blowing through Burlington, Williston, out to the spine of the Green Mountains there near Mount Mansfield. Jericho maybe getting a couple of sprinkles still. And yes, it's cold enough up high to get a little bit of snow showers. And as the cold front to our north comes in later, this is going to cool us down significantly and also bring the chance for a shower after sunset today. So could see some snowflakes mixed in with those showers, which you'll see on future cast here. This is 10 p.m. You could see a couple of snow showers scattered about. Some of those could have heavier bursts of snow within them. So just keep that in mind. If you're headed out late, you may encounter a quick burst of snow as that colder air is coming down from the north. By tomorrow morning, we're waking up to a lot of sunshine, particularly in southern Vermont. I think that in the Northeast Kingdom, the clouds are very going to be really slow to leave tomorrow. Tomorrow. Even parts of the Champlain Valley could hold on to some of those clouds. This is lunchtime tomorrow, so I can't expect a totally clear, totally blue sky day on Saturday. There will be areas of lingering clouds, but there should be some more sun than we see today. And then Sunday, we step it up a touch further. We get a little more sunshine than we saw on Saturday. So each day is a gradual step up in terms of the blue sky, but a step down in temperatures. However, as we go toward next week, we're expecting the jet stream to take another little trip to the north and that means high pressure builds in and milder weather builds in by the end of next week. So we're talking 50s back in the forecast after our little round of cold weather this weekend. So hunting season starts this weekend. It'll be great weather for it. Could be some more clouds on Saturday, as I mentioned, and some mountain snow showers. Wouldn't surprise me to see a little dusting on some of the summits, but overall I think we're dry. 38 for a high in the Champlain Valley on Saturday, so that means that uh, in the mountains it'll be only in the 20s. And then Sunday, 37 for a high with some more sunshine. So again, if I had to pick a pick of the weekend, I'd say Sunday. That's why the green check's there. So here's your five-day forecast coming up. You can see we're in the 40s solidly today. Again, just a chance of a spot shower. I think most of us are dry, uh, other than those who have seen a little bit of rain already today. And then we start to cool things down for the weekend. There's your 30s for the weekend. Veterans Day is tomorrow, so it's cold for November. Our average high is in the upper 40s. 49 actually to be exact in the Champlain Valley. So we'll slowly, very gradually get there. I think our only chance of rain though in the next week is gonna come Monday night into Tuesday. Could be a couple of showers, maybe some mountain snow showers. Again, not a big system whatsoever. And then we warm up into the 50s, a beautiful day. Expected about a week from now, next Thursday, 52 and sunshine. And then as we move along into the following weekend, we're still looking at temperatures in the 50s.